Hey you guys, what's going on? Um, got a quick little project here. Uh, I just picked up this uh, new to me positioner uh, locally. I got a really good deal on it from uh, from a well-known gunsmith actually. He's very well known. He lives about 30 minutes away from me and he's selling this on Craigslist and I picked it up. But it's a uh, it's an Atlas positioner. It's an XT200 0 to 8 RPM. Uh, pretty nice unit. It wasn't this nice when I first got it. Um, I made this base for it. I painted it. I put this chuck on it. Pretty. It's very nice heavy duty machine. It's got a cool little uh, tilt feature on it where you can, you know, it's got a little cam lock and it could spin. It's pretty neat. It can go from, I think, 90 to like 20 something degrees pretty neat but uh, my quick little project is this uh, chuck key I'm making I already made one for it but it's a little loose fitting it still works but I just made this one just to have two and it's just a 3 8 extension that I just shaved down a little bit and since it's all around parts I got a weld here weld there weld there and weld there I got four quick little welds that are all circle so I just, you know, perfect time to demo this machine. I'll be doing some straight, straight current and then some pulse uh, for like a finishing pass if I need it to smooth everything out. But yeah, let's get it. Oh, I made this little thing too. It's, uh, let me see if I can show you guys this. This is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I can't, I can't show you. It's too close, but uh just a piece of uh, half inch aluminum with a three quarter inch rod and then a three quarter inch bushing with a knob right here that I tighten and then uh, I welded a piece of stainless flat bar to it and this just goes up and down for like my little rest it's adjustable it's pretty cool I made a uh, a shorter version too that I can put right there for smaller stuff but yeah it's pretty cool so uh let me set you guys on the tripod and uh, get some of this time lapse going. I was having some weird issues with the bottom one, which is up top, so uh, I took it off and cleaned it real good, and it seems to be okay now. Uh, I'm doing 120 amps, 10% on time, 45% background, and 3 pulses a second. And this is just a clean up pass, no filler on this one, I already added the filler. I don't know if I'm going to weld around up there. 
but it's still very hot right now, so I'm gonna let it cool off and decide. But yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I've been messing around with some stainless and uh, just some different settings. And they sure are nice, man. I love it. I also did some aluminum parts. As you can see, you get pretty much full penetration even on the pulse. I made these for a local. I don't know if you can see through the plastic or not. Okay. But super clean welds on both on all bungs basically and then these are just outside corners and then uh do the same thing on these stainless pieces what are the v-bands on them i'll show you a little glimpse i don't want to unwrap them right now but yeah pretty nice thanks for watching